Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the second book of the Chronicles, chapter 18. Now Jehoshaphat had riches and honor in abundance, and joined affinity with Ahab. And after certain years he went down to Ahab to Samaria. And Ahab killed sheep and oxen for him in abundance, and for the people that he had with him, and persuaded him to go up with him to Ramoth Gilead. And Ahab, king of Israel, said unto Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, Wilt thou go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And he answered him, I am as thou art, and my people as thy people, and we will be with thee in the war. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. Therefore the king of Israel gathered together of prophets four hundred men, and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go, go up, for God will deliver it into the king's hand. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides, that we might inquire of him? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord. But I hate him, for he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same is Micaiah the son of Imlah. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. And the king of Israel called for one of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Micaiah the son of Imlah. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, sat either on them on his throne, clothed in their robes, and they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them. And Zedekiah, the son of Chenena, had made him horns of iron and said, Thus saith the Lord, With these thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the messengers that went to call on Micaiah spake to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one assent. Let thy word, therefore, I pray thee, be like what of theirs, and speak thou good. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, even what my God saith, that will I speak. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And he said, Go ye up and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. And the king said to him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord? Then he said, I did see all Israel scattered upon the mountains, as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, these have no master. Let them return, therefore, every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would not prophesy good unto me but evil? Again he said, Therefore hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel? that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. And one spake, saying, After this manner, and another, saying, After that manner. Then there came out a spirit, and stood before the Lord, and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go out, and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out, and do even so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. Then Zedekiah the son of Chenena came near and smote Micaiah upon the cheek, and said, Which way went the Spirit of the Lord for me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. 
Then the king of Israel said, Take ye Micaiah, and carry him back to Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son. And say, Thus saith the king, Put this fellow in the prison, and feed him with bread of affliction, and with water of affliction, until I return in peace. And Micaiah said, If thou certainly return in peace, then hath not the Lord spoken by me. And he said, Hearken all ye people. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, went up to Ramoth Gilead. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself, and will go to the battle, but put thou on thy robes. So the king of Israel disguised himself, and they went to the battle. Now the king of Syria had commanded the captains of the chariots that were with him, saying, Fight ye not with small or great, save only with the king of Israel. And it came to pass, when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat, that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him, and God moved them to depart from him. For it came to pass that when the captain of the chariots perceived that it was not the king of Israel, they turned back again from pursuing him. And certain men drew, and a certain man drew a bow at a venture, and smote the king of Israel between the joints of the harness. Therefore he said to his chariot men, Turn thine hand, that thou mayest carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. And the battle increased that day. Howbeit the king of Israel stayed himself up in his chariot against the Syrians until the even, and about the time of the sun going down, he died. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Very, very powerful stuff. So this is really powerful. Yeah, the passage I want to key in, and of course, is the one that involves myself from an angelical perspective. You'll see here, um, Micaiah. Micaiah literally. Um, so you, we want to get to understand the context of Micaiah, right? So it's he says here, um, and the king of Israel said unto Joseph, "There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him." For he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same as Micaiah, the son of Imla, and Joseph had said, Let not the king say so. And the king of Israel called for one of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Micaiah, the son of Imla. So the idea being Micaiah is, the, is a prophet and um, prophecies unto uh, King Ahab. Ahab is the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. And one thing I also want to point out, it's really cool that even though I think Israel may be bigger than Judah at this point, the perspective is still from the Jew, from the tribe of Judah, which we know will go to Lord Jesus Christ, which is just so beautiful because when this was all being written, that wouldn't have been known necessarily. So that's what's so cool about it. Now you see here, as we, as we continue on, um, to get the context, Zedekiah, the son of Chenena, it says here, um, Hmm. You need to understand. Hmm. So, Zedekiah is one of the lying prophets. Okay? So as, as, we, as we say here, it says, um, Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets, who is Zedekiah, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. So Micaiah tells Ahab the truth. And, of course, the lying prophets lie. Okay, So... So the, so the lying prophets say, Thou shalt entice him. And thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Then Zedekiah the son of Chenena came near and smote Micaiah upon the cheek and said, Which way went the Spirit of the Lord for me to speak unto thee? 
And Micaiah says, Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. I just want to get a different translation of this to better understand what exactly is happening in this, in this verse. Yeah. So Zedekiah lies. He says, how did the spirit of the Lord go from Zedekiah to Micaiah? So he lied. Because the spirit, of, I, I being the spirit of God, was never with Zedekiah. He was a lying prophet. And Micaiah is, is good. So Ahab says, take Micaiah away. And Ahab then goes out to battle. And it says, And a certain man drew a bow at venture and smote the king of Israel between the joints of the harness. And read this passage here also. This is very powerful. We see here, The king of Israel says to Joseph, that He will disguise himself and will go to the battle, but put on thy robes. So the king of Israel disguised himself. The king of Syria commands, he says, he says to fight, fight ye not with small or great, save only the, with the king of Israel. That's the king of Syria saying that. And it says, and it came to pass when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat that they said, it is the king of Israel. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and God moved them to depart from him. For it came to pass that when the captains of the chariots perceived that it was not the king of Israel, they turn back again from pursuing him. So they're looking for Ahab. And then the fight, you know, the fight occurs. And of course, Ahab is wounded, and then Ahab dies. And um, I just think uh, I just think that's so powerful. And um, yeah, just super powerful stuff there. And so getting an understanding, we see that Micaiah was good, Zedekiah was lying, that he ever had a relationship with me, and that, of course, Ahab dies. So the king of Israel has died, and Jehoshaph Jehoshaphat was spared by the way of God. And so that's where I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today, and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video. Since yesterday's daily diet video, I have worked my software developer job. I worked at my core. I uploaded and scheduled my daily diet video for 3.16.23. And I had created, uploaded, and will schedule this daily diet video for 3.17.23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily diet video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.